Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem stock maximize. Your algorithms have become so good at predicting the market that you now know what the price share price of uh, Hooden Orange Toothpicks Incorporation will be for the next number of days. Each day you can either buy one share of uh, what, sell any number of uh, shares of what that you own or not make any transaction at all. What is the maximum profit you can obtain with an optimum trading strategy? Boy, this is like a dream. If you know the prices of a particular stock, you could either uh, buy it at the low and uh, sell it at high. That is the uh, common thing everyone will do. And that same logic uh, will be applicable uh, here. Now let's see the prices. Here uh, the prices are uh, 1 and 2. So we can uh, buy one share on uh, day one and sell it on day two the profit will be one that is two minus one and here uh, you cannot uh, buy or sell because uh, it is uh, already high and you can't uh, sell it at low so we have to return zero uh, so this problem we are going to solve using uh, somewhat of a greedy approach so we are not going to like uh, use dynamic programming because uh, this will be obvious with uh, greedy and we are going to solve it in linear time. Uh, in the constraints, we have uh, 10 test cases and uh, and n can go up to uh, 50,000. So, and prices can go up to uh, 10 to the power of five. So these are some uh, reasonable uh, constraints with uh, like if we are going to solve it in uh, linear time. So let's see some of the examples. So here we have like three prices so 5 we cannot buy and 3 we cannot buy 2 also we cannot buy so it will be 0 and here we can uh, buy once and here also we can uh, buy again and uh, we can sell these two shares at uh, 100 so the total difference in profit is 197 so here you can buy at 1 and sell it at 3 difference is 2 and here you can buy at 1 and sell at uh, 2 difference is 1 so the total is 3 so that is how you solve the problem. So we are going to uh, traverse the array from right to left after sorting it. And after that, we are going to just uh, taking the profits uh, from the maximum price. So let's uh, see the logic, how it is. I will initialize a variable called profit equals zero. And uh, we will iterate the prices. Okay, before that, uh, I also need to uh, sort it. Sort the array. So prices dot sort. And I'll also have a maximum price. So max price equals prices of minus one. I'm just taking the last element as a maximum price. Now let's iterate the uh, prices. So for i in range of n minus 2, because we already took the uh, minus 1, uh, that is the last element for the maximum price. So we don't need to go through that again. And uh, we will go up to 0. So that will be minus 1. As we are decrementing from the higher, higher value to the lower value, we have to have the incrementer also as minus 1. So this will traverse the array from the reverse. Now if prices of i is greater than max price, that means we have to update the maximum price. So max price equals prices of i. So this is uh, one condition we have to check. If the price is low means uh, we can uh, buy and sell it at the max price. So we will be taking the profits. So for that profit plus equals max price max price minus prices of i. So here in this example, if you consider two as a max price uh, here, uh, prices of i will be less than uh, max price. So we will take the profit that will be one. And uh, you are uh, going into three. So that will be greater than the max price. So we will be updating the max price here. 
and after that uh, again we will be getting 1 so the difference will be 3 minus 1 that is uh, 2 so all the things add together we will be getting 3 finally we will just return the profit so that's pretty much it guys so this is the whole logic of this problem so uh, you don't have to like solve all the problems in this like uh, for that particular uh, topic sometimes if it's uh, reasonable means you can you could just uh, solve it is using some greedy approach or any other logic you seem that is uh, feasible so if you figure out uh, some other approach using uh, dynamic pro programming means uh, you can uh, leave a comment below and uh, that's pretty much it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this see you guys in the next video